Hello, this is Garrett Dory, and this is just a quick video to show you the proximity sensor that I made. So this just uses a photo transistor and two infrared LEDs, which you can see blinking right there. But um, you can't see them blinking in real life. Only cameras can pick up on infrared. And an LED in the background. So basically what this does is when something comes within the proximity of this sensor, this part right here, which is a emitter and detector, it lights up the LED in the background. So there's my hand. So I have gotten this thing to sense from about a foot and a half, but it's not sensing as far now for some reason. Yeah, you can see as I put my hand over it kind of blinks for some reason I don't know exactly why but I get my hand closer um, let me get a ruler so yeah it senses it stably from about a foot away sorry I know that's hard to see but if I go a little bit higher it starts blinking but about a foot is um, where it senses like my hand the best you can see that red light on the table. So you basically have a light emitter, a light sensor, and they are right next to each other, and then you have a sensing area. So the way that this detects an object in the proximity is, if there is an object in the proximity of this sensor, then light from the emitter will bounce off of it and go to the sensor. If there is no object in the proximity, then no light is reflected back to the sensor. So, all it's really doing is looking for an increase in light in the sensor. But there is a problem. You only want the sensor to be sensitive to the emitter. You don't want it to be sensitive to ambient light. The simple way to solve this is to have the sensor take two readings, a reading with the emitter on and the, a reading with the emitter off. That will give you two values. It will give you a value with the ambient light when the emitter is off, and then it will give you a value of the um, emitter's light when it's on. So you can just subtract the ambient light from the um, value with the emitter on, so the emitter light. So you just subtract the ambient light from the emitter light, and then that gives you a value that is only the light from the emitter. So what the microcontroller does is it checks to see if that value from the emitter is greater than a certain number. It's good to have a number that's bigger than zero because there probably is going to be a little bit of light leakage from the emitter to the detector or the sensor. So, and there's going to be a little bit of sensor noise. So, yeah, it should probably be something bigger than zero. And if it is greater than that number, and then it turns on the LED. And if it is not greater than that number, then it turns the LED back off. As you can see, the method for canceling out ambient light works pretty well because it still senses fine and this bright desk lamp right there doesn't seem to be making much of a difference. And it's not false triggering it. Well, that's pretty much it for my homemade um, proximity sensor and how it works. Hope you enjoyed the video.